Hello everybody, it's Terry back again with another video and today's video guys, is going to be about talking about Novak Djokovic versus PCB, who, the match, the bronze medal match who just ended a couple of minutes ago and PCB, he is the bronze medalist at the Olympic Games 2021 even though it is Olympic Games 2020 but we all know it is 2021 because of the pandemic yeah, he took down Novak Djokovic. What a grind fest this was. After 2 hours and 47 minutes, PCB comes through. Novak Djokovic in the bronze medal match. 6-4. Wins the first set, 6-4. Loses the second set. 6-7 in the tiebreak. Loses the second set, 8-6, I, be I believe, in the, uh, the tiebreak, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, PCB, after Novak actually saved on one match point there in, in the second set tiebreak with a, with a serve ace. And then PCB wins the third set, 6-3. Very deserved winner in PCB. He was the better player. He was the more braver player. He was the player who was playing more clean, cleaner tennis. He was the player who was going more for his shots. Novak Djokovic, he did a solid performance, but not good performance by any mean. It was the same Novak Djok we saw against Alexander Sasha Zverev, a more goalkeeper mode Novak Djokovic, and was the same Novak Djokovic we saw against PCB. The different, the, the only difference was that the, the match against PCB was more close because PCB doesn't possess a, a high uh, powerful serve as Alexander Sasha Zverev does. He doesn't have as good of a serve as Zverev has. That's that, that is that is not, not, not that is not something that we didn't knew before the match. We all knew that. So that was the only reason why this match was much closer and why this match was much tighter than the match against Zverev, where, where Djokovic was outplayed in the second and the third set, especially from the middle from the middle of the second set to the end of the third set. Where uh, so in this match against PCB. Uh, Djokovic was more into the match because PCB doesn't have as big as, as big serve as Zverev has because Zverev's serve is top five in the world and that is not PCB. But PCB was serving good in this match, not as good as Zverev but better than Djokovic. Djokovic's serve has been weak in the semifinals and in the bronze medal match. It has been weak, guys. It has. He did four aces, I believe, because Zverev won double fault. And he did three aces and three double faults against PCB. So, and Djokovic has not been winning many points behind this first serve or second serve. Not against Zverev and not against PCB. In, against PCB, he did, he did a little better job. He won, I believe, 73% points behind his first serve and 63% points behind second serve. So he did a better job against PCB than he did against Zverev, that's for sure. But PCB was serving better than Djokovic. He did seven aces, I believe, and zero double faults. Landed 71% first serve seed, compared with Novak Djokovic, who landed only 60% first serve seed. And won 74% behind his first serves. Points behind his first serve. 74% PCB. And won 56% points behind his second serve. So Djokovic does a better job in winning points behind his second serve with 63%. PCB won only 56% points behind his second serve. But that didn't matter. PCB was the braver player. PCB was the player who was hitting the court. Who was hitting through the court much better than Djokovic. PCB was doing 43 wins for God's sakes and only 23 are first arrows. He was doing 20 more winners than our first arrows. Novak Djokovic on the other hand, he was doing 34 winners and 21 are first arrows. So Djokovic was doing only 13 more winners than our first arrows. Compared to PCB who did 20 more wins than our first arrows. And PCB, he took his chances for God's sake. He had five break push opportunities, PCB. And he converted in two of them. Broke Djokovic serve one time in the first set. And broke Djokovic serve one time in the second set. In the third set, I mean. That's all what PCB needed. In the second set, nobody had break push opportunities. They went they went toe to toe. And they were holding his, their serve pretty comfortably, both of them. Because none of them see, saw any break punch opportunities in each other's serve in the second set. So, but Djokovic, for God's sakes, he had six break punch opportunities in the entire match. Six! Five in the first set. Didn't convert any of them. PCB had three in the, in the first set, converted one of them. 
And Djokovic had one break opportunity in the third set. Of course, they'll convert in that in that as well. PCB had two break punch opportunities. Two break punch opportunities in the third set, converted it in one of them. That is what tennis is about. Djokovic was for sure not clutch in this match. Djokovic is usually the clutch beast, the clutch monster, the greatest clutch player that we have ever seen. But that was definitely not the case in this bronze medal match, that's for sure. Zero out of six break punch conversions. Zero out of six. You don't win tennis matches with now with not breaking your opponent's serve. When you have that many chances, you don't! He had more break punch opportunities than his opponent. PCB had five break punch opportunities, he converted in two of them. Djokovic had six break punch opportunities, he converted zero of them. Zero, 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 zero! Very deserved winner in PCB, Novak Djokovic. All respect to Novak's run here at the Olympic Games, he won four matches. Uh, and, and he lost two, he lost the last two ones in the semi-finals against Zverev. Against Zverev, Zverev was in the beast mode level from the middle of the second set to the last point of the match. Uh, so, nothing to do there. Zverev won the last 10, uh, the last 10 games out of 11 games that was, that, that was played. Uh, when he started his beast mode level from the second set, from the middle of the second set, when he won four straight games in the second set from 2-3 down in the second set and then won six games in the third in the third set and won the 10 out of the and won the 10 the last 10 games out of 11 games that was played uh, PCB was more human even though he was really good as well he was really good as well i don't know PCB is he is a really good solid tennis player he doesn't possess a Say he doesn't have any uh, big, 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 big weapon in his arsenal like a huge superior forehand or like a huge superior backhand or like a huge superior serve or like huge superior uh, returns. But he's even. He doesn't have any big holes in his game. He's even. He has good backhand, good forehand, good serve, good uh, uh, returns. But he doesn't have any anything superior in his arsenal. And his and PCP is clutch serving in this match. Man, that last game, that last game, I have never seen anyone. I swear to you guys, I've seen tennis. I watched this beautiful sport over 20 years. I have never seen anyone just ordering that wide juice serve like he did PCB when he was serving for the match <laughs> in that last game of the match. He was just, he, it was like he was ordering fish on a restaurant. You know when you go to a restaurant and eat and you say to the, you say, I want fish, I want fish, I want fish, or chicken, or chicken, whatever you like. He was just ordering that white juice serve on the line. Every single time Novak was saving match point in that last game of the match, PCB said, no problem, Novak, I will, I will serve on the juice side, white. I will do it every single time. And he was... He was kissing that line. He was kissing that line every single time. And Novak was feeling like, what, what is happening here? He is just ordering, he is just ordering this wide juice serve. He was ordering that wide juice serve every single time in the last game. PCB, when Novak was trying to br break PCB serve for the first time in the match. When one Novak was, I don't know how many match points he saved Novak Djokovic in that last game of the match. A couple of three or four, maybe five, I don't remember exactly. And every single time, PCB was getting a new match point with that juice white serve. Every single time, that was the most that was the most unbelievable thing I've ever seen. I've seen white juice serves before. Of course I've seen it, but not in this regular basis. He was delivering them in a regular basis. He was like, he was just, ah, all right, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna serve wide, wide every single time, wide every single time, wide every single time, wide every single time. And Novak, of course, he was kissing the line, PCB. So how can you return those serves? How can you return those serves, for God's sakes? That was sick to see. That was really sick, 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 s
Novak Djokovic, I know what to say about his performance. He needs to... He, if Novak has one weakness in this game, if I can just pin out one weakness in this game, yeah, he, he, his overheads are not the greatest, but you don't lose or win matches with overheads. How many times you lose a tennis match with doing bad overheads? Uh, uh, bad overheads will not decide the tennis match, at least not many times. So I don't call that... that Novak's weak overheads, it is not... A big big factor is in, in this game at least not in my opinion but what is a big factor if I could pin out one weakness in Novak's game it is his firepower he doesn't have that greatest firepower my tennis fans all around the world he cannot hit through tennis plays easily he won three majors this year that's sure but he outgrinded he outgrinded his opponent he outgrinded Medvedev in that Aston Open final Medvedev was willing to suffer only the first set when Novak won that first set in that Aston Open final 7-5 but in the second and third set Medvedev was not willing to grind it was not like Djokovic was outgrinded it was not Djokovic was outpowering Medvedev it was not Djokovic was hitting through Medvedev Djokovic just gave Medvedev his own medicine Djokovic was more willing to suffer in that Aslopo final especially in the second and third set Medvedev didn't want to suffer in the second and third set in that Aslopo final Medvedev was overdoing the shots he was overcooking the shots and he was hitting his, himself out with unforced errors the same thing in, the, in that uh, French Open. Nadal, he, he, Nadal is always, always willing to, to, to suffer. Nadal is the, willing to suffer beast himself. He does, he's not afraid of, to go into long exchanges and be willing to suffer for, for many hours on the tennis court. But Nadal, he was drained out in the fourth set. When Nadal lost that third set, he was gassed out. He was finished physically and Novak took him down. Novak weared him down physically. Nadal was finished in that fourth set. He was gassed out. And then against Tsitsipas in the final, Tsitsipas, he played really superior tennis the first two sets. And after the first two sets, Tsitsipas, he just, he choked more or less. He choked. It was not like Djokovic was outpowering him the last three sets. Djokovic was just hanging in there and was grinding in there and won a war, a tennis war, guys. He won a tennis war. But when Djokovic faces firepower players who are going for their shots, who are going for the lines, who are serving big, he will t lose tennis matches, guys. I swear to you guys, he will lose tennis matches. Like he did against Alexander Sasha Zverev in the semifinals. Zverev, for God's sake, did 30 more winners than our first errors in the semifinal. No one doesn't have answers like that. Uh, a, a powerful tennis like that. He doesn't have answers to powerful tennis like that. He doesn't have, guys. Novak doesn't have that plan B or plan C. Yeah, he can go to, to that time to time or, or try to, to, to play drop shots, but that, that, that will not make you win the match. That will make you win some points here and there, but that will most, most of the times not make you win a tennis match. Novak has only one plan, and that is to outgrind his opponent. And if their opponent are up to the task and give Novak his own medicine like PCB did, PCB was going toe to toe with Novak Djokovic from the baseline. He was not afraid of going with Novak Djokovic from the baseline and going in those long exchanges on the backhand, backhand to backhand, backhand to backhand. And PCB has a pretty good forehand. This forehand is underrated. He can hit through the court with that forehand. And his serve was really good in this match. Like I said, he was serving that uh, wide serve from the juice side. So many times in that last game, it was sick to see. And Novak, when he sees these kind of things, he gets panicked and he doesn't know what to do. And in the end, you can take him down. You can outgrind Novak Djokovic because Novak Djokovic doesn't have that plan B. Novak did 13 more winners than Alfred Steros in this match. It is okay number. PCB does 20 more winners than Afro Steros. He does a better job than Novak Djokovic. He does a better job. He hits the court. He hits through the court much better than Novak Djokovic. So if I can say one weakness in Novak's game, at least he, this late in his career, it is his firepower. He doesn't possess the hardest and the biggest firepower up there. He, did, he was a much better shot maker in his early days. Just watch. Old matches against Nadal, Federer, you name it, seven, ten years ago. I swear to you guys, Novak was a much better shot maker. Novak is not the greatest shot maker in his older days. He is not. He has won three majors, but he has won them by outgrinding his opponent, not by being a great shot maker. So there you have it, guys. All right, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.